Wilson is the pilot today. Emma Foy, just 27 years of age. And they've got a pretty strong record together. They haven't ridden in a Paralympic Games together before. However, they have been competing at World Championships all over the world and in the individual pursuit in particular. They won that event earlier this year and last year. Earlier this year, of course, in those World Championships in Monte Chiari. And last year in the Netherlands, they were third in this event. Clean start. So the first 125 metre time will be interesting. Looked a little bit tardy off the start. Let's have a look here. 14.438, there's just 0.1. So that's uh, going to be whittled back quite easily if they can. And yes, it's, there's nothing in it now. 22.749, there's a, a, just a fingernail in that. There's Absolutely, and look, they've already managed to pick up the pace. You can see them working so well together. Their tempo, they've picked it up. They did have that clean start. It was so crucial, but now they're just got the slimmest of margins, riding themselves into first position. They're on the hunt for a medal, this pair. Well, Emma Foy, she started paracycling in 2013, but uh, she believes, as she reflects, that the sport of cycling has always been in her blood and uh, that uh, it's been a life in the making, being a cyclist. Well, this is a big moment for her. The New Zealanders have already set a benchmark. 111.075 is the time to beat, and they're in front now. So they're first and third New Zealand. Emma Foy and Laura Thompson are now well and truly in contention for a medal, a terrific ride. They are indeed. So the Japanese pair of Yuri Kanuma and Mai Tanaka have just been bumped out of first position. They'll still